Hey, what's up guys? Jesus here. What time is it? It is single question Q&A time. That's right, I found the Jake vs. Meemaw DVD at Target. And it totally had the fin hat, which the Velcro just broke on. Because it's too small for me. But I'm still going to be rocking it for the duration of this video. But yeah, it is single question Q&A time. Today's question comes from Sean Somnuk. Once again, Sean's putting you all to shame. I think I've fielded more questions from Sean than anybody else. So y'all are slacking. I feel like I'm gonna give a I'm gonna give Sean a gold star or something real soon to try and give the rest of you some initiative or something. <laughs> but uh anyways. Sean asks if I were stranded on a desert island for a year, that's the, uh, that's the parameters. Just a year. Like, I'm there for 365 days, and then I get rescued, presumably. If I were there for a year, what would I eat if I could only eat one thing for that year? Just one thing. And what would I bring with me? Now, as far as what I'd eat... I'm going to... Oh, shit, my phone fell. You're, <laughs> like, losing me. It's like... <laughs> Sorry. But, uh... My first thought was water. Like, you know, a year's supply of water. I get washed on shore of a desert island along with all of these big crates of bottled water because fresh water is a hard thing to come by on a desert island. You never know. But then I thought you did say food, so I thought maybe water wouldn't be a good answer. And I really thought about it, and yeah, you can find water that you may have to distill, but it's still there. Sorry, it was going to go out otherwise. <sighs> so, having access to water, and I mean... I, Worst comes to worst, I could gut a turtle and use its shell, fill that with distilled ocean water with the salt refined out of it, boil that with some fucking noodles, and if I washed on shore of a desert island with, like, six pallets of shells and cheese a year's supply worth, Velveeta shells and cheese, I could live on that. Like I said, gut a turtle out for its shell, use its shell as a pot, boil the noodles in that pot with some distilled seawater with the salt fucking boiled out of it. Because all it is is the noodles in the fucking cheese packet. You just gotta boil the noodles in water, and then the wa you strain it out of the water, so I mean it might just... I could even do it with seawater. It would just be saltier, so I wouldn't even have to ask... I wouldn't even have to add salt to it. So yeah, that's my answer for what kind of food I would eat. I would be happy to be washed up on a desert island with a year's supply of Velveeta shells and cheese. And as far as what I would bring... Fuck, I had the answer for this, too. <laughs> Just a minute ago, before I started recording this, I had the answer. And that's why I decided to start recording it, was because I had the answer for what I would bring. And I decided, you know, I can't bring an electronic, like a phone, that would have some kind of a game or app or something like that. Oh, fuck, what was it? I had it. What the hell was it that I would bring? To keep myself occupied. Let me sit here and ponder for a minute, because I really can't remember. I remember now. I remember exactly what it was. It only took me like a minute or two of thinking to actually remember what it was that I would bring. If I could bring one thing with me if I was going to be stranded on a desert island for a year, it would be a hatchet, or a machete, or some kind of cleaving tool like that. Because if the book Hatchet by Brian Paulson has taught me anything, it is that you can survive in an unfamiliar environment if you've got a fucking hatchet to forge tools for yourself from. If you haven't read the book Hatchet, or The River, or Brian's Winter, or anything like that, I think, I don't even think the author's name is Brian Paulson. I think I'd mix that up. The K 
character's name is Brian. I think it's Gary Paulson. Pretty sure it's Gary Paulson. But yeah. Those are some fucking awesome books. And I'm, I'm confident that I could survive in the wilderness. Be it a tropical island or a fucking... Island with the climate of, you know, the fucking mid America, like here, like, you know, the fucking woods or whatever. I could, I feel confident I could survive like that for a year with a hatchet or a machete. As long as I've got that year's worth supply of shells and cheese. So, Sean, I hope that answers your question. I would go back in since the cigarette's about done, so I'm gonna end this single question Q&A here before my hands fucking freeze off. I can barely feel them here. It is cold out here. I, that's the one thing I can take away from this vlog video. It is fucking cold. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this single question Q&A. Leave your own questions for me down in the comments section. If it's a good one and I like it, I'll answer it in the next Q&A video. And if you like, I'll keep the hat on in the next Q&A video. Even if you don't like it, fuck it, I like the hat, so regardless, the hat might appear in the next episode. You might see that in the next Q&A video. You'll have to tune in for that to see. Till then, like favorite if you'd enjoyed it. Leave your questions and comments about this video, questions for next video, down in the comments section there by my junk. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, thanks for watching. I didn't hit the button, did I? Well, fuck.